Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a uh, nine ball time here in Paris, and welcome to our first uh, Euro Tour stop, 2011. This is the Dynamic Euro Tour French Open, and we are playing at the Leader Club in Paris, Souci en Brie. We have about 170 participants from 36 countries who are playing for the medals, for the money, and for the prizes. This is day number one. And at this time, I would like to uh, introduce our two contestants for the first match. This is Bruno Muratore, who lost the leg, and he's playing uh, Jason Shaw. A nice matchup, I think. Uh, Jason Shaw, uh, somebody told me that he's very quick at the table. Uh, he already got the name Tony Drago number two. <laughs> My name is Marco Takis, and alongside with me is uh, Christophe Kreter. Christoph, how are you doing and how was your day after playing at the TV arena? Come on, how do you feel? <laughs> uh, now I, I start uh, feeling better. <laughs> this morning after my, my first appearance at the TV arena in, in my Euro Tour career. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't so good and I played not so good. And I was a little bit disappointed about my match. But now after some, some lunch and some drinks <laughs> all right some, some coffee <laughs> yeah sure you have to play after that right <laughs> yeah yeah um, all right he I had I jack daniels ladies and gentlemen <laughs> no i feel i feel better now uh, all right yeah um, i so how do how do you like the the new rule with the break box um some people get it and some people don't um you had both i think trouble getting a good break on, on, on the first it's match it's, it's tough to 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 find a way to to have a break a constant break to have a, a ball who constantly goes down and um but i think that's the reason why we why the um the committee the epbf changed the break rule that it isn't so easy to make standard balls fall right. in at the break and yeah that was the idea, yes, right. We didn't want to have a standard uh, a yeah, run of a game. I just, like I just was watching Bruno. He's, he's, he was complaining about something, but I don't know about what. He was waving towards Ted, Ted the uh, head referee, but I don't know. Or, huh? or he just saw a beautiful girl, I think, and he was <laughs> saying, like, okay, <laughs> uh, let me play that one, and we have a coffee after that, whatever coffee means. Yeah. <laughs> you said Jason Shaw. I think he was last year... Uh, World champion in in black ball, the British um, uh, side of, of eight ball playing with uh, yellow and red balls and a, a black one, a uh, little bit like like eight ball in, in American pool. A right. little bit different tables, and I think he was the world champion last year. But see, I ladies and gentlemen, my co-commentator is very good informed here. That's why I have him here, and here we yeah. see uh, a billiard from Bruno Muratore. Making the nine off the two. One nil, he's opening account and uh, stealing the break from Jason Shaw. Yes, and it was also Carl Boyce uh, who was a uh, yeah. a champion. In, in I think Carl Boyce, Chris Melling also, I think. Yeah. They're yeah. all, yeah. They're, they're I think every British player playing the Euro Tour <laughs> at least <laughs> has one time won the World Championship in black ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty good. And uh, yeah. last year, the last year's results, uh, I mean, shows this. We had like, I think, like five or six uh, of the ten first players, ranked players, so they were from, from Great Britain. So yeah. that's a big result. That was a good break. Yeah. Good break from Bruno. And uh, he's got to look at the two. Was it a dry break? No, I think he made two balls. Oh. And also uh, the two ball passed the hang string and yeah. came back again. The two was a six. Oh, was it this? Oh, was a six? I think. Ah, yeah. Right. Right. I don't. <coughs> I don't remember exactly, but I think one. If not, you can be sure that the opponent would have seen it. Yeah, he would notice it, and he would now call something. What is what is the flag from Jason Shaw? Is it Scotch? Is it, is it the Scotch flag? I think this is Scotland, right? He's uh, Scotland. Let me see comes out of the highlands yeah great whiskey area <laughs> uh, maybe he's got a bottle with him <laughs> we will check later <laughs> <laughs> exactly 
Let's, let's talk about the important things. Yeah, does he have a whiskey and <laughs> does Bruno Moratore <laughs> carries with him good olive oil <laughs> <laughs> and a good grappa? <laughs> grappa and olive oil. <laughs> Is it what we are looking for? Come on. Like. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's the flag here? Yeah, it's it's here. You have it here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and it's it's just it's a Scotch flag. It's a Scotch flag. Yeah, yeah. I cannot click on it. I don't know why. It's, s it's Scotland. Yeah. Hmm. Why well, I don't have I it here in the list? I think you you have to to click here, the Great Britain flag, bec because the Great Britain flag isn't here. Uh, that's right. But hmm. can't find him here in the list. But we can we can go here. We are looking in the computer, in our PC. What? Participant for this Euro Tour event. That's a good idea to click on. So, and now we go to SH. Mm. Shaw Jason Scotland. Yeah. Scotland. There you go. There you have it. What is written about him in his stats? Let's have a quick look. So he's 22 years old. Wow! <laughs> look at this. High run in a straight ball, 240 balls. Balls or racks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe even <laughs> racks. I mean, like <laughs> he's, uh, he's playing a predator queue. Yes. His, uh, his residence is Glasgow. For sure, I think 50% of Scottish people are coming out of Glasgow. <laughs> his nickname is The Wizard. The Wizard? That remembers me on, on, the, on John Higgins from the Snooker World, whose nickname is The Wizard of Wishaw. He's also a wizard. Uh, right. You're absolutely That's right. I thought he missed the ball, but I didn't no, see that there was the another ball here. Yeah, he, the wizard is going to make the nine ball for... Oh. Ball. Let's have a look for uh, Bruno Muratore. We go to Italy. We click on the Italian flag. And if you'd like to do so too, ladies and gentlemen, go to www.eurotouronline.eu. Then click on uh, Meet the Players. And then you get uh, the thing, what we're doing here, we're clicking on the flag, on, on the European flag. The uh, You must know where Italy is, and you must know <laughs> what the Italian flag is. <laughs> if not, you got a problem. It's a <laughs> little no? similar to the Hungarian flag. <laughs> Almost. <Just> <laughs> <laughs> there are differences in it. But anyways, he's living in Rome. Yeah, he's Roma. 43 years old, called what? the Iceman. He's playing number nine in Roma. This is his uh, home club. His high run in straight pool is 197. Also a nice run. This is a good run, yes. He was, uh, yes, he finished first uh, at the Euro Tour in Malaga 2007. Okay. 18 times Italian specialties champion. What is it? Uh, specialties? Five times Italian absolute champion and specialties. Oh, maybe he he maybe they define a champion who's the overall champion of all disciplines. All right. And specialties is eight ball, nine ball, straight pool, for example. And the absolute champion maybe is the person who win the all over championship. All right. So Italian's player of the year, something like this. Hall of Fame member in Rome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> might be. And within this time, Jason is again running the whole game. <laughs> yeah, we see a couple of facts, <laughs> and uh, it's Jason Shaw managing to run out here. Another left. Boom. He's a left-handed player, also Big. like me. There. Yeah, he's <laughs> playing basketball hoops while I'm playing, I don't know, <laughs> mouse traps or <laughs> little holds, something. Here is Bruno Muratore. Now on the break, maybe we can focus a little bit on the match. <laughs> And he made no ball on the break and a dry break, I think. I think only Two. the one and the eight passed the head string. Exactly, and it's a... Uh, it's a dry break and it's a decision from Jason that Bruno can continue to play. So th the rule is in the within the dry break um, that the opponent can choose who's playing, <coughs> but when the opponent takes the right to play, he is not allowed to play a push out. Exactly, so that's the big change we yeah. made this year, right? So, um, Jason, uh, I think it was the same rule last year, but I'm not sure. Um, j so Jason can't come at, the, come at the table now and play a push. If he takes the table, he must go on uh, uh, the one ball. All but right. Bruno, he has the right to play push out. As the man who broke this uh, rack, and yeah. now he's looking at uh, where oh. he can place the cue ball to yeah. maybe jump even over yeah. the nine and the five. 
and get the one. Yeah, I think it, it's Id his idea is to not to give a, sh a, sh a visible shot to Jason because he know he he saw how how fast Jason and how uh, s uh, uh, self confident he he run out the game. So oh, he want to bring him to mistakes, and if he gets the shot back, like now. He needs a little bit fortune to make it, and he chooses this way to come in the game, to enter the game again. Yeah, and he's taking out his jump queue. Let's see? Let me just click here on our laptop to the live scoreboard, because then I can I'll see... I'll tell you. Wait, yeah. let me see. Yeah. I got it here. Ah, Already. you have it here? Fine, because then I can see when my next match is called. I will play at 6 o'clock, and it can be called 30 minutes earlier. Uh, not that I'm here talking with you, and <laughs> in the meantime, I uh, lose my match. <gasps> and he makes wow! A what a marvelous shot here from uh, Bruno Muratore. No applause, but I, I applaud now. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, it was a great shot. Hey, wake <laughs> up here, Paris. What's going on here? So, Sion Brie, <laughs> you're sleeping or what? What the hell? A lot, a lot of British players outside, and no, no applause from the British colleagues. No, it's <laughs> it, was <Yeah. laughs> it was the British player. It was the Italian. It was sorry. the Italian player. But where <laughs> are the Italians? I don't see any Italian player. No, they're all playing, I think. So Fabio Fabio Petroni is not there to to show us a dance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but he's a little bit. Uh, he li got a little bit bad luck. He has no direct shot on the two ball. Maybe he has to choose a safe or bank shot in the side pocket. Yeah, he's trying to hide the cue ball behind the nine, and he did. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, he uh, he's left him a shot. We have to look in his face to see it. And um, it looks like he left him a makeable two ball. Yeah, the body language tells me he's not happy with the result, yeah. with the outcome yeah. of that uh, safety attempt. Jason is fast on the table, fast down. And oh, yeah. and he made the ball. And with automatic position, he could use the, the natural way of the white ball to get position for the three. Still, it's a tricky rack. I tell you, the position of the seven, yeah. this is... I mean, to get from the six to the seven, this is already... Tr you see? Not <laughs> not so hard now. Not so, not <laughs> so hard now. <laughs> he managed uh, to get early to the problem, yeah. and now he can try to run out. That was good. Yeah, and again, just the natural way for the white ball to get position. Now, a little uh, long shot, but the... the the table in the TV arena um, is a little bit uh, faster than than the other tables. I mm -hmm. think it's due to the, the the spots, the light. They they warm up a little bit the table, and due to this, it's a little bit faster. But um, the players has they have enough time to to practice. And he was so quick around the table that he almost smacked his cue on. Oh, he smacked the cue on the uh, on the table. On the table. Yeah, he yeah, was so quick running around. Trying to shorten up his way. Here goes Jason. And there he goes for the 3 1 lead. So, a good idea from Bruno with a jump. Delphine Pizina from France. Oh she okay. played pretty well before, but I think Josh Joshua is its first appearance in Euro Tour. He's 13 or 14 years old. He's quite a good player. Leading Mateusz Snigotski is dominating the Polish match between him and Karol Skowerski. He All was right. he was seven to nil up. I saw it before. It's his first Euro Tour appearance since one year. Yeah. Yeah. Harald Stolga is in a draw situation. Four to four is the score with Alex Borg. A very good player from uh, Malta. Not not really uh, surprises in the matches. There's a, a women's match between Leticia dos Santos and German's Jennifer Ring. And a very uncharacteristic miss uh, from uh, from Jason Shaw. Yeah. He, he hit uh, the uh, well, not even the knuckle of uh, of the corner boy. He missed it by half a diamond. Mm. And but he left a little bit uh, a tricky tricky shot for the for the white ball I think he the seven is in the way to yeah, get to the I five right oh that was dangerous that was dangerous Ooh, very dangerous a little bit uh, if 
he touches it a little bit um, fuller, more fuller yeah. then the white wall will scratch. He's not home yet. He's got another tough shot to f uh, face here. Uh, another cut shot of the five. Maybe he decides for a safety play. I would go for the shot, I think. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, he's... And look at this speed, and he's got a good, good side on yeah. the on the six. Yeah, played it perfect. Seven, not in the way for the for the hand, or not much. Yeah, he's able to bridge. Okay, he's bridging behind. So he's not. He doesn't like yeah. it. Yeah, it's a little bit a long, a long way, a long bridge, but it's yeah. Played it with confidence, even you know he just didn't he didn't roll it in. He, he played it with confidence, punched it in, and then uh, the cue will gets out of the cushion, and then for an easy shot on the seven. Uh, now easy draw shot to put this the white ball on the cushion or just easy roll it in. Ooh. Good job. Yeah, but a little bit straight. So he will probably have the white ball on the cushion for the when playing the nine. Let's see. Yeah. But but that should be no problem with the pool players. We 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 used to put the white ball on the cushion. We don't do it. Uh, we don't want to do it, but we do it. And in all our experience and all our years, we do it again and again. Uh, so we used to play with the white ball <laughs> from the cushion. It shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> uh, absolutely. And it's an almost stretch. And he should yeah. be able to make it now. There he goes the nine. He's the loser's bracket. He lost to Shandor Tot. Yep. And there he made one. No. Again, no ball on the break. No dry break, but easy position for the one ball. And the two ball in front of the side pocket. A little bit tricky maybe for the three ball. Everything is in the open here. Yeah, the three ball is a little bit... Except for the three ball, yeah. yeah. Everything but is in the open except for the, the three. With right, the right angle on the... On the ooh, that's not the right angle. Well, absolutely right. You're. Uh, it is not. Yes, see, he's thinking about what. What's he thinking about? What is he doing? He, he's not going to go for the for for uh, uh, for the pocket, nine. Cut it thin in side pocket, or go for the safety shot. Much too hard. Much, much too hard. I don't know what he had in mind here. Maybe he wanted to catch uh, the, the maybe nine Maybe he wanted to play a bank shot to the eight, po eight and six pocket. A long bank shot with a, an optional safety play. Mm, okay. Safety behind the, the, the seven and to kick out the three ball over the short cushion to the other side of the table. Oh that was foul. a foul. That was a foul. Yeah, I think that's what he wanted to do, but... He touched the seven one. Maybe I can borrow him my glasses or my lenses. I have. <laughs> 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 All right, now ball in hand for um, Bruno. Now the layout of the rag is totally different. It's um, it's easy. It really looks easy. There's no real problem. He needs to have an angle on the six to get the seven and back again. That's that's it. Now he has a little bit of a. Uh, we call it a Chinese snooker. Yeah, um, and from today on, we'll call it the Italian snooker. <laughs> <laughs> Italians are not the big fellows on the uh, on the planet. He's, he's talking to himself. He's complaining about the uh, about uh, the position he played. Yeah, it's not easy. He needs a little pressure normally on the four to get it out of the cushion to make the the five ball in the. I'll just roll it in and make the five directly across the table in the corner pocket. Oh yeah. no. A little pressure and for the side pocket. Uh, uh, but let tell me one thing. I mean, he had ball in hand and why he managed uh, to fall in front of the, the eight ball? Why, why players are doing it? What are you? <laughs> if I could answer this, I could uh, solve a lot of my own problems <laughs> okay. I have right. while playing. <laughs> 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 and if I could uh, tell them, I would earn very much money to help players not doing it anymore. <laughs> 
All right, yeah, it's a it's a mystery. You know, you, yeah. you have ball in hand, but then you're not focusing on making the ball. I don't know what it is. It's a, I, I think it's something you're not thinking about. That the you just look out oh, this way, out there, and then four ball in the corner, then five ball on the side. But you don't think about what happens if I put the white to near to the eight and in front of the eight ball. Hmm. Players like Ralf Suke, for example, he's thinking about things. He's thinking about all the 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 small things in the, the game, finer, that finer points, yeah, 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 yeah. That, c that can happen. And normally, if he would play it, that will not happen when he's in a normal match. All right, <laughs> but we're doing it very, very often. And there we go. He managed to run out. You like the place here, the the pool hall. Absolutely. Yeah, you you the first time here. Or no, the second you time. Here last year also. Exactly. I was the last. Uh, actually, the last year was my first year. Uh, the first time I was uh, on the Euro tour. Well, I was before, but uh, like a commentator. Yeah. And I had the uh, the chance to commentate even with uh, Ralf Eckert and uh, Mike Siegel. Uh, ah, yeah. It was, th it was the Mike year. Mike Siegel. He was he was here last year. Yeah, I know. And he stopped in a match playing because he was uh, he was angry about something and he stopped playing. Yeah, uh, I remember that. And then he 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 was gone. He gone away. He he went away. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. But if you got rules, then you got rules, and you have to follow the rules. And if somebody tells you um, you only have one rack to warm up, then you should follow yeah, the it rules. Was it was the warm up situation. Yeah, yeah exactly. When David told him. And he was talking to people, I think, and then David came, okay, now start your match. And he said, oh, I want to have one rack. No, you're talking, you had your time. <laughs> and then Mike Siegel decided to... Uh, Unscrew his, yeah. his cue. <laughs> and go away. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. A little bit like a diva. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Jason had a good break. Not a good shot on the one, but played twice the one in as a as a bank shot, missed it and left a, a tough shot now for for Bruno. Can he cue be signed to four? Yeah, a little. I think he needs a little bit of left left English so that it's it's okay. But the position is tricky to even with with left side English to come away from the. Not to touch the nine ball, wow. and he managed it to Brilli oh, great brilliant shot, brilliant, angle. brilliant shot, nicely done. But now let's see: is he going to take the two into the side pocket, or is he going to take it into the corner? I think he's going to take it the long way. So he he has to normally because the, the the side pockets at this dynamic tables are very tricky. So from this angle to play in the in the side pocket is is very tough. It's suicidal. But now we have to take a look. Ah, he has. Yeah, he has a, a angle. That was the. Uh, that he has t had to solve now the the angle for the four ball to to change the side with the white ball to come to the th to the five pocket. Yeah. Right. There goes the four. Well, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Good time to play safety now? No, he he will not play the safety. He will take the chance to make it, but he has to manage to a little bit pressure on the white ball to come out out of the cushion in front of the nine ball and not behind it. Okay. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, too much pressure and he missed. Yeah, he tried to punch it in and get a position on the six, and therefore the ball rattled in the corner, came out again, and it's a. Uh, Jason Shaw jumping out of his chair. He knows that's the chance to uh, get his rack back. I mean, it was his break. I see Joshua Filler here. So he, w I think he win. He w he won, right? He he was leading. He was in front, and if he's now here, so fast he should have won his game. He lost against Kamilev. Um, good player. Okay. I think nearly every pool player in the world was in contact with Jürgen Sandmann <laughs> regarding, <laughs> <laughs> regarding training. 
Oh, and he lost the cue ball here. Uh, Bruno Muratore with the break. Uh, now I think he trouble can start for him. He's he's down after missing the six ball, three to four. When Jason now can run out the easy match with uh, with ball in hand, then maybe it's tough. And he's three to five down, and it's Jason's break. And this could be trouble. Yeah, absolutely. But in in German we say uh, I don't know how to to say it in English. Maybe you know it. Um, we say the Oper ist erst vorbei, wenn die fette Frau gesungen hat. Uh, it ain't over until the fat lady sings. Yeah, <laughs> in the opera. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it ain't over until the fat lady sings. And really, I don't know if the English or American people uses this also <laughs> as a uh, sprichwort. Um, yes, they use it, and it came from from ah. America. It ah, actually okay. came from. Uh, it was an American opera singer. Th that's what they say. Yeah. I don't know exactly the name and exactly which opera it was, uh, but uh, yeah, it ain't over until the fat lady sings. Um, I, yeah. lo I love this one. <laughs> 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 yeah, and now we see that Jason ran out the match. He managed the two little tough tougher positions. Now stop, stop, stop. Finish five to three. Stop, there you go. Another stop shot or roll forward, uh, whatever he likes. I think stop. Yeah. Roll forward. Boom. And nine into the side. Thank you very much. No, punch oh no. it. Yeah, it was, he had an angle to punch it. Yeah. And then get the nine into the corner pocket for it. You looking for your match? Uh, do you, you, you don't have to... to I see it there. Oh, you're playing Manu. Yeah, I play Manu at Edere, and it will be a, a tough match for the losers' round. He played uh, Radoslav Babica in his first round, lost nine to four. Mm -hmm. I lost to Francois Cotens in the morning, and now we're facing each other in the first losers' round. So <laughs> I expected you very much. something better, but I think he always thought that it can be maybe easier for him to play me. Exactly. <laughs> the last two <laughs> matches we play, I, I won. The last two matches we play, one was one and a half years ago in the German Championship. Okay. I beat him in nine ball. Um, and yeah, maybe he will take a revenge today. We will see. But he will, ha he will have to fight. <laughs> Do you know that he shot 145 yeah, consecutive yeah. balls in, 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 straight stra pool in, in straight pool last uh, Saturday, Saturday or Sunday? It yeah, was. on on Saturday. I I heard it. We we had a German division um, play play day. We we had uh, to play. So me me also in in the second division playing, and um, I play with Nicolas Ottermann in the team, and he's in very good contact with Dachau, where he played before. Mm -hmm. And um, w we talked together on the phone in the evening. We asked how the, the big match between Dachau and Fürstenfeld Bruck, it was in Germany, the top match on this weekend for Fürstenfeld Bruck. All players playing there played before for Dachau. Mm -hmm. And y the new young guns, Manuel Ederer, Dominik Jensch, Benny Heimerer, they play for Dachau now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on Saturday the score was 4-0 for Dachau, for the young guns. And Manuel managed to run 145 balls, consecutive balls, in straight pool on this Kim Steel tables. On the new tables, which are very, they have the very tight pockets, they're yeah. very... Yeah, the same pockets like for the World Team Championship last year, and I can tell you they are tight. Mm -hmm. ones mm -hmm. fast and tight and, and hard cushions and I can't imagine how he can manage to make 145 balls in a row on this table but the player race to 200 right 200 yeah, yeah. yeah. but wow. fortunately now we play nine ball and not straight pool exactly <laughs> so that's your chance There's no match scheduled for the TV arena afterwards. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. I'll tell you now in a second. Uh, I'm just in the losers round two. You have see to the uh, over whole thing. View. Yeah. And a curve shot wow. from Bruno Moratore. Nice curve shot, but yeah, yeah, he has no position. 
Safety or bank shot? What would you go for? Two-way shot, maybe. Play the three ball uh, like a bank and try to get in between the eight and the four. I don't know if, if it's possible. It's not scheduled yet, I think. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he missed it. He missed it and he's leaving him a shot. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a great follow shot. But unfortunately, he played it without English. He would have needed a little bit of left side English to come out of the of a cushion yeah or just played with less speed and you know uh, he anyways needs to play yeah. the 4-8 uh, the combination so uh, why not being a few inches before uh, and and having even an easier shot I mean if you even if you're here then yeah. you have a cut shot on the 4 and then you have to manage to get back again for a shot on the 4 I mean like to have a straight shot on the combo is better now he has to jump over the 5 which is a hope for Bruno Muratore. I would like to have a chat here, a chat room in the live stream to chat with the viewers. That would be a good idea, I think, for the viewers. They can ask questions maybe about players or about situations, about things. Yeah, I can tell the female uh, spectators my room number. In uh, we are in the Novo Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Novo Hotel. <laughs> And okay, that's off is th at that's the best Western. <laughs> that's so. the kind of chat you would like to <laughs> have. <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known before. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid idea now, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, nice. oh, great shot! Nice shot. Is he gonna go for the combo, or is he gonna? No, no he's no, gonna no, play no, it. No, no, he's not gonna go for the combo. A little draw shot. And if he's too straight, maybe he can run in the cushion and come out on the table. Yeah, that's what he will do. Yeah, he's playing high ball on the five. Yeah, with a little ref left uh, right side English. And ooh, mm, don't want to be in front of the nine. I think he's okay. Uh, it's again. No, it's again tricky. I think he he don't want it to play th too too hard. To have the the right angle to come from the six to the seven, and now he has the problem with the nine, again. But he managed it before. At oh, he missed it. Oh, he missed it by a mile, and uh, he also lost the cue ball. This is ball in hand for Jason Shaw. Yeah, and I think the situation is clear. Six, seven, eight, nine is in front of the pockets. No problem. Uh, so we had now very <coughs> two very very. Um, yeah, big mistakes from Bruno. The six ball before and now the scratch. The position mistake. Again. And it's a 6-3, ladies and gentlemen. Rack. And I was t uh, telling the viewers that this is what you have to think and then you miss the six. Yeah. Uh, fail getting that position uh, on the seven, uh, on for the seven, uh, while trying to get position on the seven, missing the six. What do you think about the book? Uh, I think it's a it's a it's a very very good good book, and um, I I, <coughs> I started reading it. I didn't uh, I didn't finish it, um, but I but I but I read the the book and uh, half the half of the book, and I think it's very on one side it's very funny um, to s to to read uh, small stories from from Ra Ralf Eckert from his youth what happened to him what were the situations when gambling when driving away to other places with Mr. Kim his big um, master mm -hmm. <laughs> or sensei how they say <laughs> in Asia and um, and on the other side there are very good um, yeah comments inside of ways of thinking that things also always don't are like they look yeah that uh, you have to to watch from different sides in situations and i really like the book but at the moment i have borrowed the book nice bank shot here from bruno i've borrowed the book to to my friend to nicolas ottermann mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I I think we both need the book. <laughs> <laughs> we both need in some situations some mental training. <laughs> 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 But I really uh, I like to to read it because uh, Ralph also he has a a very good um um art uh, way a way of of writing and mm -hmm. making it interesting for for readers yeah that you also you have situations where you can where you can smile mm -hmm. uh, where you can follow him where you can where you have the situations in mind he's talking about yes uh, about your own you situation. can picture it yeah, yeah, yeah right 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 very good picture it and uh, it's a very good book and i think i think every pool player on this planet should read it so e at the moment, every German, because I think the book is only available in German at the moment. Ah, okay. But maybe it will be available in English, and I think every pool player should have a look in this book and read the stories from Ralf and, um, yeah, read it. <laughs> Absolutely. And if uh, you would take uh, a, um, some advice from the Chinese, uh, or no, it's uh, the Korean, uh, they was saying to him that it's, it's a Chinese uh, sensei, but uh, it is he's actually from, he's from Korean, Korea, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, he's mentioning this in uh, in the book in the beginning because he has this uh, Asian style situations not to be s too serious not to complain too much and then focus ball by ball rack by rack and then see what happens and doing everything with 100% which sometimes could be 120% which makes no sense but it actually means yeah but give it everything yeah given everything what in the situation is possible what is possible in the situation good advice that would be my advice that's what i try to do when i'm in such situations but like i said i try i don't say that i can <laughs> oh a very uh uncharacteristic <laughs> miss from uh, jason shaw who played that Two ball too thin, missed it yeah, and yeah. left it for Bruno in front of the uh, corner pocket. Yeah, and now that that's a, it's a good situation for Bruno. He has he has a ball, easy easy to make. The situa uh, the, the position is not so easy. There's a lot of, of balls in the way. But oh, oh and look at that. But now he's lucky. Oh, he's very lucky in the situation. Yeah, he's tapping his cue for excuse. He was very lucky at the same And good that it didn't fall. Yeah, I mean, now, look, imagine. if he would have... Can you imagine? I, he made yeah, the ball, yeah, yeah. falling behind the six and now facing the, the three in front of the corner pocket. Yeah, he but would be in trouble. That, that's he's, he's not able to find to find a way here to to come down a little bit, to focus on the... Uh, yeah, on, on this, what, what he has to do in the situation. He's thinking about other things. He has other things in the head. And yeah. you, you can't change it sometimes, it's tricky. A three cushion or one cushion decision? One he goes cushion. one cushion and he's and making he it the off the one. three. Wow, what a marvelous <laughs> shot. <laughs> position. Thank you very much. But in all, you don't, you don't have that to think. You, you don't, uh, uh, in, in Bruno's rule now, roll. Now, don't think that he is so lucky. It was Bruno's chance. He had the two ball in front of the pocket and he missed it. So, it's his own fault what happens there. It had already happened. It's the past. He has to look yeah. for the future and he knows But that he's going to get a, another chance on the table. And that's maybe. it. He has <laughs> to. <m> <laughs> well, he's going to have a break, definitely. It's yeah. a 6 4. So. Um, He's gonna have it's even the next the next rack, it's his break. He has to forget about the past, put it away, and then restart again. Yeah. Pretty easy here from the commentary box. I mean I never lost a match from here. <laughs> and I always managed to come back from, from here. <laughs> I was eight one behind one time and I won at uh nine eight from from here. <laughs> you know? Uh <laughs> so easy in our situation everything is easy we yeah. have um, different perspectives for the table yeah then uh, for sure we know everything about pool we know what to do in every situation exactly yeah boring yeah, absolutely boring. Boring. so i don't like that yeah no <coughs> i prefer i prefer to go for my work week by week day by day nine to five <laughs> yeah that's it 24 7 24 7 <laughs> 
<laughs> I love my job. <laughs> yeah. why, why should I win a pool tournament when I have a good when I have a good job? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe people out there listening to us <laughs> think we have a little bit weird or <laughs> something like this. Yeah. Well, m maybe they're right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so Alex Borg is behind for Aiden Harald Stolker. He's on the hill. He was the the, the match was at four four, I think. Yeah. From that on, uh, the German Kaiser Ralf Suke is leading eight to five. Also on the hill. Yeah, also on the hill. Manuel Suden, another German player from from Trier, mm -hmm. from this area, playing there in the re regional division, is to seven seven with a French guy, and he was trailing two to seven. He's now at at seven seven. That's a very good result for him. Yeah, big comeback. What was this from Bruno? What he tried a safety he shot, a combination shot, or I think he tried a safety. He couldn't see the one so much like ah, okay. he, he could make it. He I think he tried to bank, leave the, the cue ball there, or was it a comp? Yeah. But he's left him a shot. He's left him a shot here. He, he can see the one bar. He can cut it in. Yeah, but position all around the table. Thinly Ooh. cut it in. No, he left it for Bruno. It. And that's the chance he's looking for. He's taking the rest. So Bruno gets again a chance to, to come back in the match and again he is direct with the first ball out of position. He spoiled it. Uh, and you, you can see it in his face. You can see it in his um, mi mimic. What's the English? Yeah, the, uh, the expression on his the face. The expression on his face that he's really not happy with his match, with his playing at the moment. Here the combination, now he made, he made it. And sometimes it's just one shot <laughs> which uh, turns things around and maybe it was this combination. I mean, it was a tough combination. Well, kind of a tough. It was a missable one, but he managed to, to do it. Now he's focusing again. Look, he's, he's applying chalk on his Q-tip. Leaning over the table. And again. He stopped at the eight ball. He wanted to pass it on the side to get to the four, and now he he has not much from the four ball. Just maybe he tried to to give a kick shot from the side rail to the to the four ball. Leave the cue ball behind the seven, yeah. and then kick the, the four the ball cue too. But it's a, a tough shot on the new new pool cloth. Absolutely. He might skid. Oh, watch the watch the cue ball. No, he's all right. It's it's all right. It's not so. But he left a tough shot. I have him banked this uh, the four ball. No, I say a safety. You was right. Safety play from Jason Shaw. And a good safety play. Ooh, wow. a good safety play. Yeah. So what are you doing from here? A jump shot? Impossible. No. It is possible, but... Oh, I say impossible. No, it's possible, <laughs> but tough. Very <laughs> tough, yeah. Absolutely tough. I would tough. like to show you. Can we go on the table and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 tell them, go away, I want to show this jump shot. <laughs> Look, Bruno, you have to play it like that. No, yeah. he's, going for f he's going for a kick shot. Look, yeah. he's going to into the cushion, use a lot of force to dive into the cushion, then spin it into the uh, four ball maybe the four ball when he get it very thick he can kick the four ball three cushions out and leave the oh he, oh missed, he it. missed it completely that's it and now <laughs> he's in big 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 trouble yeah from having a 7-5 chance now he will face uh, Jason's break probably at 4-8 to eight. 
trading. Him on the hill, exactly. Yeah. He's not going to miss the last four balls, uh, folks. I, I tell you this. I'm sorry for all the Italian viewers. Uh, Bruno Muratore is in trouble. I don't see any trouble here at this with his rack. A little sweet, nice little uh, uh, draw with this with a shot here with the with the eight, or bounce out of the uh, cushion, and a pretty straight nine. Boom! There you go, eight to four. Because he's gonna get another chance in the losers bracket. There goes the break from Jason Shaw. He made the eight. One, two, three balls. And two balls past oh. the hatchery, but the white ball. Look at the white ball. He jumped before. He's going to go for the jump. Or is he going to go for the push out first? I, he knows that we know, that he knows, <laughs> that, uh, that Bruno knows that he's a good jumper. Yeah. If you know what we know, if he knows what he should know <laughs> he will do <laughs> what <laughs> he's gonna go for <laughs> look at look at <laughs> the guy <laughs> <laughs> what's, his, what's his name i don't, I don't uh, know his name uh, this is robert robert yeah robert robert is at I the mixers he the, the mixer is laughing about us is he yeah yeah he is. first of all he's eating too much sweets too much haribo i see <laughs> is it empty the uh five kilo box <laughs> yeah it is yeah there is uh, a thing under the under the table he's sitting we call it Eimer in Germany what is uh, Eimer? <laughs> a, bucket? a bucket a bucket full of it's Haribo it's a big bucket I think it's a 20 liter bucket yeah. full with Haribo <laughs> <laughs> look at his belly <laughs> <laughs> it's the belly of a beast <laughs> we should we should focus here <laughs> let's focus back I think Bruno is gonna yeah. give it back uh, here um, but well he's a good jumper I know he can jump this one in it's in front of the it's in front of the corner pocket come on he has yeah. to jump this one but uh, Jason is a British player. I've not seen so much British players playing good jump shots. He jumped before. He made it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I don't know I if I he made it. Well, he jumped. Yeah, he can jump, but I don't know. But, um, he took a jump cue right away, straight away. It's it's tough. You, when you get, you, you need a little bit of, of draw English in the, in the white ball. If not, it can happen that the white follows directly the one. It's quite straight and... Tell you what, Earl Strinkle would do this with a full new GQ. Yeah. He doesn't need a, for sure. a jump cue for that one. Wow. And that was the danger. He had the angle and now he's... Hey, he I can don't take his cue for the next shot. You think so? Yeah. But that's now dangerous because the white ball can easily jump over the table wh by touching the when, when touching the cushion. On top of that, if he makes it, uh, it's very tough to get to the three. Yeah. Oh, this is a very dangerous shot. And he missed it. He was right. The British players are good, but not that good with yeah. jumping over so balls. Bruno. So uh, I'm, I, I'm not talking about Darren Appleton or Carl Boyce. I think they, they play jump shots like uh, like I play a stop ball over half of a table. A straight stop ball. Right? Absolutely. But, um, They're pretty good at this. Yeah. But the, the average British pool player. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not, um, um, that's mean from me to talk like this even because I lost the first match. <laughs> Christoph, it's okay. <laughs> I talk like I'm a big player, but I'm just, I have an L on my head like a, like like a, a loser. loser. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but let's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is therapy number one for <laughs> Christoph Grete. <laughs> and, and Ralf Suke, the Kaiser, won his match versus Fabrizio Burat, Burato. Burato, exactly. Not burrito, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> but that's something different. It's burrato. So, and I think that's the last chance for Bruno to manage the game, to maybe give a, a turn in the game. Yes, he needs this. He needs this rack, and it's going to be 8-5 after this one. Slow roll is in. I don't like this angle. I hate it. And he's because not sure. He's because when you when you play mm -hmm. it long, you can stay in the corner of the of the side pocket when you play a following shot. So that's, I think that's the reason why he he played a played just a stop ball and take the long shot on a nine ball now, and he made it. He made right. it. Eight. He's trailing three games behind. The score is five games to eight, and his oppo opponent Jason Shaw. 
he's on the hill, only needs one little ball, the nine ball, so and the nine, nine break. Ball. Nine ball. Eight, eight to six. Eight to six. Oh, that one go went into <laughs> text messaging here. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He's not, absolutely not. <laughs> What are you saying? He's gonna lose his job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's having a chat with a beautiful girl there. <laughs> <laughs> he said he said he said that we shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, right. She's blonde. <laughs> and here goes uh, Jason Shaw. He made a ball on the break. He made the one ball, and again he missed. And now he's in trouble. Yeah. I tell you what, I mean, the two ball is in front of the corner pocket. He should be able to fall on the three, yeah. no matter what is on the table. Key position is to get position on the six, to have the right angle to get position on the seven ball on the other side of the table. It, that shouldn't be a problem. But we saw many chances for Bruno before, and he didn't use them. Or oh, them. why he's and going around he there? What happened to Bruno Muratore? Yeah? What is going on here on the table? Why he went... I don't understand. Why he hit it too thin? I mean, he could go here and then back again. Um, not going behind the six. He hit it too thin. He's not, f he's not focused at all. He's somewhere else, right. not at the table. I'm telling you this. Yeah. And now he has to take the rest. <laughs> it's a makeable ball. But the cue ball is going to get speed. No? What is he going to do now? Maybe watch out for a safety play. Leave the three ball over a cushion behind the five ball. Okay. And the white ball on the side from the six ball. Just to leave a tough shot, maybe. He's leaning over the table. Very strange cueing here. Yeah, that's what he's doing. And he <laughs> did it. Uh, I think Jason can play the three ball directly. Oh no. Oh, he's playing an intentional foul. Clever. Ah, intentional, tactical. Tactical foul? Tactical foul, intentional, yeah. And now Bruno. It's a very interesting uh, layout here. He's gonna go for the billiard. He's going for the billiard. Do you think so? Well, he was. Now he's taking the cue ball away. He's thinking about ah. He's thinking about playing safety now to go over the long and the short cushion behind the seven ball or the nine ball. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, played it too slow. Played it too slow. He's uh, got one foul. Referee? So we need a referee here. Uh, I'm going to get you a referee. Uh, Jason is calling for a referee, uh, so we're going to get him, Ted, to watch the shot. Oh no, this time we have uh, David looking, watching the shot. Oh yes, it was a good shot. That was a correct shot, right? Yeah. It was a correct shot. Bruno Moratore is back at the table. Here's the shot now I would like to see. Play the three ball into the side pocket, applying draw or stun the cue ball into the short cushion, coming out for a position on the four if yeah. he has the <coughs> right angle. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, 
Like that. Yeah, great. That was a good shot. Good executed shot. Now the key shot on the five. Good position on the five ball can solve the problem from getting from the six from the s to the seven. Absolutely correct. He the needs the rest, but yeah, the eight ball in the same pocket like the four, the seven in the corner. Everything should be clear with this position now. And that's a good speed, I think. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't like it. He's on the wrong side of the five, but I still, he should accept it. He, he should, should accept, accept it. He should play a stop shot and draw the, the, the white ball with a six back. Not doing experiment, experimentals. No. Oh, he's going with inside English this yes. time. Okay. Yeah, for sure. He's all right. Now he has a good angle. That's fine. A little draw shot will do now yeah. to get to the seven. He should get long enough to have a uh, quite straight ball on the seven i think that would be good yeah to get position for the eight ball ah no he's got an angle okay, maybe he has two two po uh, opportunities now to go with a, a lot of left side english directly to the long but that's tough tough shots regarding the speed on this table we will see what ah he, he did choose the other way and that's i think the better one yeah hey he did great he had it look easy. It ha he had more angle than I expected on this one. I couldn't see so good in the on the screen. And uh, it was Ralf Suki missing an, uh, a similar ball on the other side of the table, uh, yeah. eight to the nine, and then he, he lost the match. Now, again, concentrate on the nine ball, white ball on the cushion. Tough shot, but a must do. And, and he did it again. He came back. Nine ball. He's breaking from the center. Yeah. If the nine ball Maybe is going to touch from be a touch from behind from a ball, and then on the nine ball, I had a similar nine ball from my opponent. That happens often. Look. Yeah. Look. look, there, look there you look, go. There you go. There goes the nine ball. ball. Good prediction, Christoph Kretier. He's yeah, a magician. Is he real? Uh, that's what I told you. He's I know unreal. Everything about this game, I just can't play it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he is unreal. He's unreal. Jason is uh, Jason is smiling there. He's laughing, and I think it's better to to smile in, in Jason's position now than to complain about. And I have to go playing at the at table thirteen. I play Manuel Idra now. So Christoph Kretti, it was a pleasure for me to have you here. Thank you very for much me. for you. your support, and uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Good match, and uh, I see, see you later. Huh? See you later for a drink. Alrighty, <laughs> see you. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, and off I go now, alone here in my commentary box. And uh, Christoph going to the restroom first, and then he's going to go to table number 13 for his next match against uh, Manu. Jason uh, Shaw, he made a ball on the break, and it was a correct break. He is allowed now to play the one ball. He has to. He has a thin cut on the w watch the cue ball, almost losing it into the uh, side pocket. He's got a shot on the two. And this looks good for Jason. Only three balls on the table. Little draw shot on the eight. Eight ball goes. Should be no problem for this nine, and it's uh Jason Shaw, what? Wow, the cue ball, cue ball, no, stays on the table, and it's 9 8, the final score. What a great match it was here. A very tight match uh, in the end, and it's Jason Shaw winning 9 games to 8, and it was.